Check, check. Check, check. All right, we're good. Okay, let's wait and see. Here, we're just gonna keep that open. We're gonna wait till we get a little bit of group on here before we start. We'll say about ten people. We we'll get about ten people, then we'll start on the the painting. I just have the amazing one on here right now, just to get it get it going here. Now we're almost to ten, right four now, but almost halfway there. So, we get to about ten, we'll we'll get this started. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and we'll just get started with it when and folks can join in when they when they want to. Okay. Alrighty folks, we're gonna get this started on here today. Uh and um I have a little sixteen by twenty canvas up here, same as I usually use, and I just have it with some amazing white on the canvas with just a thin coat. I'll show you here. Just some of this here amazing white medium. Okay? Alrighty. And if you have any questions throughout this live broadcast, you can comment on them. And I do, I am monitoring them this time. So, if you do have any questions, you can just leave them down there. Okay, so let's take and we'll go over across the uh, colors with you. I have titanium white, Prussian blue, ivory black, uh, laser and crimson, burnt umber, sap green, some yellow ochre, and some Hanzi yellow. Just some just a little bit different colors on the palette this time. Just some uh, yellow ochre is the additional color. So uh, let's just take some Prussian blue. I'm just taking a little bit of Prussian blue here. Just a tiny little bit on the brush. Don't need too much. And we use an X stroke up here and just use the X stroke. And before I get any farther with this. I need to make sure this is clamped down good enough so it don't move around before we get too involved. Alright. Hey, what's up, Ben? Alright. I just want to put a simple sky in here. I'm looking for a really advanced painting. They did something kind of easy to do. I think you guys will really enjoy doing something kind of simple today. Alright. And then for some water, let's take some more blue. Then I'm just going to come uh, put a little bit like this in. Okay. Looks pretty good, I guess. Kind of blend it a little bit more. Alrighty. Okay, now I'm going to take this same brush. Not even cleaned it out. I'm going to take a little titanium white with it. It's on one corner of the brush, my two inch landscape brush. Okay. Let me put in some big old clouds. Yeah, you monkey face. Just put them in there wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to be. Alright. 
So don't get scared on these are some of the easiest clowns to do on here is these big puffy clowns with a two inch brush. Can't get no easier than this. Alright. There we go. And let's see. I have another little one inch brush over here. I'm just gonna blend down just a little bit. Alright, I hope you can see those on the camera. Alright. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. Let's see, we got 11 folks on here now. Alrighty. I'm gonna blend a little bit more. I want to throw in some some trees back here. I kind of want to throw in a little bit of some leaf trees in the background. So with that, I'll take some titanium white on my once brush and some sap green. A little touch of burnt umber and a little bit of blue. And we'll see what we get back here. Just some simple, simple trees. I had some people ask about painting these type of trees. And the biggest thing you need to make sure is you leave it open. If those trees are really clogged in there, you're not going to get a good, airy, realistic leaf tree. This way it's really going to look good. So when you load your brush, you want to crunch the brush into the paint. And then when you're painting, I start straight in on it, and then I just start moving the brush a little bit more. Just kind of forming the tops of my trees. Okay, and it helps to have a good thick brush as well, so. Make sure you got a good thick brush. And what I like to do too to these trees is I like to make a little bit darker and blend it up into it. So I'll just take a little bit more brown and some blue, Prussian blue. I love that blue, it's a good color. And then down here at the base, we'll start putting some more trees, but we're going to let the pressure off as we go up. See how it makes it look like it's got a lot of stuff happening on her. Okay. Just checking something real quick. Okay, what I want to also uh, talk about today on this little video is, if I can find it, is I'm going to do a giveaway on here. I'm going to give away a medium. This is my amazing clear medium, and this has a little bit of a defect on the label, so I was able to give this an one away um, without, you know, my warehouse manager getting on me. So, <laughs> so I can give this one away, guys, on the live show, and I'm going to think of something, maybe some kind of question to ask you or something or another, and... Uh, we'll see who wins this amazing clear medium and maybe next week I'll try to do something else we can get away on there so maybe I can sneak in there and grab some stuff <laughs> all right okay trying to just take a look at this a little bit more all right now before I go into that I'm going to thin down a little bit of paint real quick. I'm just going to thin down that color we was using just for the trees with my liner brush. And just kind of put some stuff happening back here. If you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going straight up because you're not going to see too much of the tips of the trees, really. That's all I'm kind of going for in the background. Okay. 
You can almost see throw in a few little variations. All right. And then to put those in behind those trees, you just have to uh, just tap right in there just a little bit, and it'll push everything back in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight these trees. Let me put down my liner brush. I'm going to take some amazing white medium, some of my brush, and this could be too much. And what I always do is I always just take off some from the side. And I'm going to grab some Hansi Yellow. And I always put a little pile of paint right here of Amazing White on my palette. I'm making this always just grab a little bit as I go instead of having to constantly get back to that jar. Alright, I'm going to go tap the paint into the brush. Now, I'm going to try to see if you can see. If you can see this. I'll try to get closer. Okay, you see the little peaks in this paint? That's very, very important to have it that way. And this brush has got a lot of paint into it. And I'm tapping it right in there. So you can see all those nice little peaks. You want to feel a bit of a creaminess to it. And you're going to have some good highlights come out of that. Now right now you probably can see this batch of highlights. Well, just the first batch. I'm just going to tap these on. Make sure you share the video, get your friends in here and watching us and get some more shows going for you. Now this video, I will upload it later on to YouTube. So um, if you miss the show or want to come back and watch it, it'll also be on YouTube too. But make sure you share these with your friends so we can get more folks watching the shows and find a way I can do more of these episodes. I really like enjoy doing them for you. Alrighty. And I'll just try to put some over here. Blindly, because I can't see because that light just blinding that area. But hopefully, I'll let the brush do the talking. Let it go ahead and do what it wants. That's what it wants anyway. I can't stop it sometimes. Okay, a little hair and get rid of that. Alright, there we go. Now. And we have the first little batch of highlights. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add another layer layer of highlights to that. I'm going to take some of the thick white now, the titanium white the original. And I'm going to mix it right into the paint here we already highlighted with. And we'll grab a little bit more yellow just to brighten it up some more and a little touch more amazing white. And come back here right on top of those highlights and just add another little layer. I sure hope you can see that on these on this video. Right. And if y'all have any questions, you can always leave them into the comment section. I'm able to actually view your comments this time. And I can answer them. So I'm gonna go another highlight on here. I'm just gonna take it directly with the dirty color of my brush, right into that amazing white. A little titanium white with that too. Now I'm gonna come here and add another little, a little bounce of light. Okay, so you can do these layers if your base coat is on there correctly. So if you put too much amazing white on here, you're gonna have a trouble trouble time trying to get more layers and more layers on your painting and also if your brush is very um, stiff there's a certain some kind there's other brush on the market that really just don't well, able to layer it because they're made for house painting they're not made with a certain uh, taper to them to be able to paint with them so make sure you got an artist brush when you're using this because it looks like a house brush but it's made for oil painting Right. And just kind of add your stuff right to the water. Alright, that looks good to me.
Right, I'm just going to thin down some more paint real quick. I'm going to thin down a little bit of like a gray color. And I'm going to see if I can't see in here. Just throw in a few little areas. Maybe some more dark. Some of these lighter areas of the tree. There's just going to be some small details that you may not be able to see on the video. But if you add these little small details into your painting, the viewers are going to see them. Whenever you go to try to sell your painting. And that can give you some sales. Okay. There we go. Alright. So I'm done with my background trees. I'm going to take another brush. Let me put this palette down. I may not use all the colors that I got on my palette today. But that'd be okay. You know how many colors to use next whenever you go to do this one. I'm talking about two inch brush. I'm just going to probably graze this and make it into water. And each time wipe out that brush. Okay, wipe it out again. And then gently go across that water. Give another little wipe about halfway through. Each time you pull that brush off, you're going to get another big long stroke. Wipe it off again. About halfway through, I'll give another wipe. Alright, looks good to me. And let's see here. Maybe we'll put a banking in here. Let's see here. Let's take some burnt umber and some black together. That's ivory black. Okay, I'm just going to just put in a bit of a, a banking back here. Yeah, you can even take and make a rock right here. Uh, big old rock right there. Right into that banking. Another little rock right there. And then keep on going. Another little lump or so. And then just take your knife and just give a little bit of a pull. Underneath your big clumps, like a big rocky area. Alright. Then I'm going to grab it and just put down a little bit. Alright. And then for the highlight color, I'm going to take a little titanium mite with that. You get a nice color going. I'll even grab a little yellow ochre with that. Give it a nice golden color. Alright. And then I just highlight them rocks. And just, just no pressure on this knife. If you can see how I'm holding this knife right here. I'm not touching my finger back here. I'm holding the green area. Make sure you hold that green area. And you're not going to have any problem with your highlights because your pressure, it's going to be hard to put pressure on when you're holding it from the sides. Do not put your finger here. Make sure you hold it on the sides. I've taught many workshops where I've seen many people have trouble with their, with their mountains and getting stuff to break. And most of the time it was because they was holding that palette knife wrong. And then once they learn how to hold that palette knife, they're able to do whatever they want on there. Alright, they're looking, looking alright to me. And gently go back over top of that too. Okay, I'm going to take some amazing white and I'm just going to mix it right here into some titanium white 
I usually mix about 50-50 mixture of amazing white and titanium white. It gives me a better water line mixture to get some good water line. I get more control this way. Some folks like to use just the amazing white. Some people don't like to use titanium white, but I always seem that that mixture of 50-50 always works better for me. Just whatever works for you. Looking, looking pretty sharp there. I kind of like what's going on. All right, let me see here. What I got. I'm gonna take the filbert brush. I think you know what I'm going to do next. I'm gonna throw in some smaller rocks in here. I think it may have a big old tree come down in here somewhere or another. More of a summertime painting. I'll take some black and some burnt umber together. Maybe just a touch of blue. And then I'll go right to that mixture right here we use for the water lines. Once I got the dark on it, and the other side's got the light. Okay, back and forth. And we'll just take this side here. Now, what I do is I dab it a little bit, then I give it a little bit of a pull. Okay, and it creates some of the best little rocks in here, little stones. That's where the big old fish is right there. And I tell you what, when I go fishing, you always got to find them little spots, but I always get tangled up in there. And end up with a bad day. It was about two hundred dollars worth of fishing gear for a fish that's about that big. So whenever I go fishing I ain't got that best of luck, but it's still fun to do. So I always try to throw it inside them little areas like that. So I'm gonna ask them in here for the, the fishermen that live in this area. That way they can have some good areas to go fishing at. We'll help them out. And yeah, we'll stock it up good for them. Now, if you start running out of the dark, add just some more black to it. Because it'll start to gray down as you go. Just take your time and add as many as you want in here. I'm going to sketch it where I want my land to be so I know where to go with my rocks. Okay, I'm just going to fill that on in. There we go. You can stand here and catch your fish right there. Alrighty. Then more black, a little touch more blues and brown. I'll go right back to that lighter color. Now I add a little bit more blue into this one here, so that gives me different variations of things going on. This, you know, how them rocks go up to the bank. Let's see. 
And it's also a few little small ones around through here. Now you want your, your viewer to, you don't have to paint a dozen, thousand little rocks in here. You know, you kind of want to space them out as you go, and the viewer will just kind of fill in the areas. They won't really pay attention too much, because right in here is where our focal point, or focal point. Focal. There's a few out there here because we're going to have a big old tree come down through here in a minute. Alright, so we got some rocks in here, stones and things. And let's think here. Let's take that big old orange brush and I'm going to show you a nice easy way to create some trees in here. Some big old, big old tree. Just take it and go monkey faced on it. There's a big tree. There. there we go. And then we'll put in our boom. And so it's that easy. Just go with it. Don't let the canvas intimidate you. Let it just get at it. And some sap green. Get the sap green. And on this side to bring it out, we're gonna throw a little sap green over here. This will be our shadow. In some of these areas. I'm going to throw in some grass down here at the base real quick. I'll use my two inch brush to do that. And you go right over top of that tree. You don't have to worry about that tree getting in the way. You don't worry about that old tree. You can move that tree wherever you want them to go. Because you're the boss on here. Them old trees. I mean, they're hard to move in the real world. But in here, it don't matter. We move them wherever we want them to go. We need to give our fishermen some shade in this painting, so that'd be a good area for a little bit of shade. Make sure you throw a little bit of shade in there. There you go. Good old spot to take his woman there and have a picnic and go fishing and all that good stuff. And there's a little base in it. And them rocks. I was going to throw in a few more rocks inside that. Now, some people ask me about this swirling my hand around some of my videos that I do. It just helps me think about where I'm going to put another one. The magic. It's painting with magic. We're gonna wand us in something there. Okay. Alright. Then I'll just I'll take the little dirty color we're using for the highlight and the rocks, kinda of mix it together a little bit. It's gonna give us a, a nice marbled color. Excuse my big head. But I'm gonna put a little Something, something in there. Give him some bark. And then we'll come back with this side of my knife and just kind of tap it in there. And that's going to give me some. Some bark effects. And then I'll take some dark as well and do the same thing on the other side. That way it'll give it an automatic nice shadow.
Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of throw in just a few little details in this one. And this one is easy to do, I'm telling you right now. Get that big old brush, you come in there and you get it on there. Just punch it in and you're going to have something. You can't go wrong when you get monkey faced on you. Just, it just happens. Just do it. Don't get scared of it. Just get at it. And then you're good. You're telling you right now, most of the time, most folks will... When they go and get on there and get at it and they start painting, they'll, they can't believe that they actually done something. They kind of like you wake up after being hypnotized or something or another. Can't believe you painted something like that from just a big old brush. Alright, I'm just going to throw in a few kind of tall grasses in some of these areas. And I think with that, I've got to finish painting. Okay. Maybe I'll throw in a few more things before I leave. And what the little giveaway is going to be about. I'm going to take a few little dots of some amazing white in here just to do some things. I got some little flyers in there. Okay, now back into the little giveaway for that tube of amazing clear I think what the what we can do for that how to give it away when sun is painting quick and I'll Think of what the okay. This time, a little painting. Hope you enjoyed this little video today. I'm trying to think of what to do to, to, to give that amazing clear away. If you got any suggestions, you can comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, that's the little painting we did, and to give away that little medium, what I'm going to do, and I want to have everybody who commented on the video, on this video that we did, on the live broadcast, I'm going to take your name, and I'm going to put you in a little uh, cup on next week's show, I'm going to draw a name out of the bucket, and we will um, give that away on that week's show, so next Thursday at 8.30, if we're not on exactly at 8.30, we'll be on in that somewhat in that time at 8.30 Eastern Time. So I'm going to take down the comments that are on this show. And I'm going to put your name into the into the little box. And then on next week's show, we'll give away that amazing clear. And I'll keep that amazing clear for you on my desk. And whenever the next week comes, then I'll give that away to somebody who was in the comment section on the live broadcast. Make sure you share these with your friends. So next week we'll have another amazing live episode. I love doing these live shows with you guys. And it's such an awesome way to communicate with you and try to help you learn to paint even faster. The way I can paint it and answer your question at the same time. So maybe next week we'll do like a QA and a type painting or something. Or we'll just do another little simple landscape or another maybe more advanced landscape. Another thing is my book that is coming out, Volume 2, is looking awesome, guys. I cannot wait to show you the projects in that book. I want to share them so badly with you guys, but I can't. <laughs> but I know you're all going to enjoy that book. If you'd like the first book, you're going to love this second book because I'm already, I cannot wait for it to be on the market for you guys. Alrighty, so if you enjoyed this, share it with your friends, comment below, like, 
Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this Facebook page right here for more live shows. And this one's ready for the art gallery. And I'm hoping yours will be soon. I'll see y'all next time.